So okay. what I have to ask is, are we doomed to find out the right answer only too late? Is it possible that our... For somebody who's recently died. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Rummage through the morgue. <laughs> well, you asked no, the question... No, but I think the question is a very different one. And, and it goes to much of the discussion to this point. Everybody looks for the right man. You say government... You brought him up. Those men yeah. at that time. <laughs> right. Quite right. But a system which depends on the right man is a bad system. The Federal Reserve was a bad system because it depended on the right man working it. The idea of, of, of demand management, of the kind of thing we're talking about where Keynes' death ma uh, mattered, was a bad system because it depended on a particular man working it. The notion that the problem that Bob LeCashman brought up, that, that the problem is not that government interferes, but it does it unintelligently, is again a demand for the right man, the man on the white horse who will know what to do. My whole view is very different. It is that it's the system that's wrong and that we've got to have a system that the right way to accomplish these objectives is to have a system which doesn't depend on whether you happen to have the right man uh, uh, pushing the buttons at the right time, the but which relies on, the, on, on establishing yeah. a framework within which an invisible hand, within which the activities of people all over are able jointly to produce the kind of result. It won't produce perfect right. stability, but it'll produce a far ba higher degree of stability, a far greater level of freedom, and a far greater level of prosperity than the kind of thing we've had with these governmental interventions. Well, but, but